there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the awesome lesson where you finally get to start doing the design process on making your real glider. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends, so this design brief is simple. Your mission is to create a balsa glider that can fly for more than five seconds. The glider must meet the following design specifications. Your maximum wingspan, 300 millimeters. Your maximum root cord, 75 millimeters. Horizontal stabilizer, maximum span, 148. Root cord, 50. Vertical stabilizer, 50. Root cord, 50. Total glider mass has a minimum of 3.5 grams. Every other number about your glider, you get to pick on your own. Be prepared to explain why you made the choices you did. Also remember that part of your grade is how well you work as a team during the project. Remember to also label and store your materials each day. Begin by completing the design process with your partner using Google Drawings. When you have a plan in place, show me and I will allow you to get supplies. So if I were you, I would go to your Google Drive and I would launch one of your old design briefs. As soon as you get it launched, I would do File, Make a Copy, and of course name this one Balsa Glider. If you changed your partners, change that. When you're done creating the new one, you can close the old one. And then also, make sure you share it again with your partner using the share button. When you're done sharing it, delete the parts you don't need. Those have nothing to do with a balsa glider. And then continue the steps to actually start filling yours out. For instance, for this one we would put, we must build a balsa glider that flies more than five seconds. For the research, you can fill in a lot of the things that you learned while using Gliders 2.0. For the requirements, you just need to return to your design brief and list the maximums and minimums. Brainstorm your solutions. This can be using the Gliders 2.0 software. And when as a team you have picked the possible solution that you want from your gliders, then you need to contact me and we'll go on to the printing phase. One other thing I like to do is to make sure that I change the background of these because when you're searching for which one is which, it's nice to have them show up different so it's easier to track down which they are. All right, friends, make sure that after you've got your design that in the simulator will fly, it's going to depend on how well you and your partner can actually build and assemble that real glider. So make sure you pick something that you think is workable to design and gets you the five second output. When you can show me that on your screen and you've completed the design process, I will let you get your supplies and get going. My friends, if you found this useful, please hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.